Welcome back you lovely bunch, thanks for tuning in, I hope you're all doing good. Today I'm 42, well not actually today, tomorrow I'll be 42. But anyway, for the sake of the vlog, you're watching it today, so today I'm 42. Now I don't know if any of you have watched Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, but 42 apparently is, well, the meaning of life and everything. So in approximately 24 hours, I will know everything. I had a bit of an epiphany, it's not actually that much of an epiphany, I've been banging on about this for ages. I discovered what the best winter bike is, and this is the best winter bike for me. So winter bikes used to be like an old road bike, you'd have like rim brakes or like some mud guards, and it was a bike you didn't really care about getting battered over like winter. You know, you wouldn't run carbon rims on it because, well, with like rim brakes they ruin rims. So quite often you'd have like a bit of a beater bike for winter, and then you'd have a nice bike for summer, or at least you'd switch out your wheels because you wouldn't want to be running carbon wheels. I mean, disc brakes changed everything, you know, they did totally, totally change everything in cycling, so now you can run discs all year round. The problem that I have with road bikes is, whilst I love them, in winter, like where I live, it gets really icy and disc brakes are not gonna make you stick to the ground, you know? Ice is ice and it's sketchy. So for me, one of the best ways to deal with bad weather is to get off-road, you know? Off-road is the best thing in the world when it's really bad weather and icy and horrible and a little bit sketchy on the road. And I feel like off-road bikes, gravel bikes, mountain bikes, they deal with getting muddy a little bit better. I mean, look at the state of this bike. I've not cleaned this bike for a couple of weeks now, and honestly, I'm probably not gonna clean it for a while. I'd give the chain a wipe and the drivetrain a bit of a like wipe down, but the actual frame, I'm just leaving it. It's gonna get so muddy, there's no point in actually doing it at the moment. Everything. So this, for me, is a proper winter bike, and that's what I'm gonna tell you about today. I'm gonna to tell you about why this is the best winter bike for me. Whatever it is you wanna call this thing, it's, it's an awesome bike. Before I owned this, I would not have put this as the ultimate winter bike, but in fact, I was wrong. Don't often admit that I'm wrong, but I was wrong in this case. There we go, there's some growth. As I get older, I'm growing. So we're gonna take this out for a little bit of a shred. We're gonna get really muddy, it's still really cold. So it is only about like zero degrees, so not too bad. So someone did comment that it's minus 20 when I ride, minus four is nothing. And like, we all know that, I mean, I know how numbers work, like four, is lower than 20, so therefore minus four must be colder, right? Let's take this bike out, bit of road, bit of gravel, bit of mud, and I'll tell you what makes the ideal winter bicycle. There we go, right, let's go pedaling. First off, we have these humongous Goodyear peaks that are 29 2.25, absolutely massive. Now, I don't find these tires too bad on the road. Like they don't have like, they're not crazy like high knobs. So like the rolling resistance isn't awful. They don't make that brrrr noise as you're riding. No, they're not as fast as a road tire. I mean, I'm actually tempted to set this up with actual slick tires to see how it deals with just like road rides with flat bars. Not too bad on the road. Like they're a 29er, 2.25 so the actual overall diameter is blooming huge so once you get up to speed they're pretty good you know i could put the connectors on for like slightly less rolling resistance or something with like zero tread at all and have a more like road focused tire but i like the fact that they're really aggressive i mean these will handle pretty much anything around here that i throw at them i'm a winter bike thing the first thing yeah big tires Right, the next thing isn't essential for like an ultimate winter bike, but it's something that I didn't think I needed until I had it. I mean, I could do without, but it's really good. And that is this like small travel suspension fork. I think it's only like a few mil of travel, but that travel like makes a big difference, especially when you're doing like the slightly more aggressive off-road stuff. But it does have a lockout feature, look. It doesn't actually make that noise. That was me making the noise, so just on its own. And then with the added sound effect, do, 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 do. see, so like you have to add your own sound effects if you want that. So if you are just riding on the road, you can like lock it out and just have like that full rigid setup. And then if you're going off-road, you know, flick it to like suspension mode and it's just got a tiny bit of suspension. Another reason why my bike is the ultimate winter bike. For anyone that's wondering, this is the Marin DSX FS. I probably should have said that like in the intro, 
but um, yeah, better late than never. So the next thing is the flat bars. I've always ridden like drop bars and flat bars. So for me, I don't find it hard switching between the two. I personally find flat bars a lot more maneuverable and more fun to ride about on. Like drops, I find it a lot harder to bunny hop on drops, a lot harder to chuck the bike around. It doesn't mean I can't, but flat bars for me definitely mean a little bit more fun. So you could do this bike with a drop bar, then it just becomes a gravel bike rather than a whatever it is at the moment but flat bars super fun you know really stable and if you're going off-road i mean you're basically riding mountain bike trails anyway so why not have mountain bike bars and the next thing i'm going to talk about it behind the camera is the frame set it's like really really relaxed geo you know it's got a low stand over height it's got a like slack head tube so it's not a crazy fast frame you know this setup is for like comfort and fun and that's exactly what it does and for me winter like we don't all have to be like smashing it and doing like the hardest rides and like you can do a hard ride that's slower and fun that's basically what this frame is designed for so you look at it awesomeness and obviously we cannot not talk about these funky wheels i know they're not for everyone but honestly hear me out here cleaning think about how easy that's going to be to clean absolute pleasure and then i guess the final thing for me is but the gearing it's a one by it's 12 speed so like you know like all the new like axis group sets are 12 speed you know well essentially you have two chain rings at the front so you have a 24 speed but it's a really wide range it's basically a mountain bike range cassette not going to be used on your local club run that's for sure like 100 percent. oh there it goes robust it's robust i mean i suppose that brings me on to like the downside this isn't by any means like a winter bike for a club ride you know on a day like today it's not that bad weather you could definitely get out on your road bike and go and do the club run but because all my bikes have disc brakes i could just use one of my like road bikes i don't need a specific winter bike but when the weather is worse than this and it's icy and it's bad and it's horrible and it's wet and it's grim yeah i can put my mud guards on or i can jump on this and go and ride around with a massive grin on my face. There we go. That's like why I feel my Marin DSXFS grounding bike is the ultimate winter bike. Let me love it. I'm going to be riding it a lot this winter, so hopefully you guys don't get bored of it. This is the bike I want to paint. I think I should paint it. Do you think I should paint it? Let me know down below. Spray Bike have started doing some really cool like pens, so like we could always like do a blank like frame color and then like do some cool pen work on it or let kiddo go mad with some pens this ride video turned more into just a like random waffle me explaining why my bike's awesome but it is awesome and i love it anyway and it's my birthday so you know listen to me let me know what your perfect winter bike would be like am i right am i completely wrong always up for a bit of a discussion in the comments let me know down below yeah remember to like comment subscribe wish me happy birthday subs give me a sub for my birthday there we go anyway i'll catch you guys very soon bye Thank <laughs> you.